So we can broadcast this. So the RFC does in fact state, you put it on there, that uh, let's see what we do at the end of the night. Uh, <laughs> Did you know shit about that native definition? Well, yeah. Did you know what the internet was? And in fact, they go on to say, uh, um, of course, they were talking about like, machines with numbers. And said, well, one thing we call shock two. And so hey, are we missing anybody? Yeah. I'm going to sing some machines by their numbers. You might as well just call them one, two, and three. The only thing that's kind of used to be appropriate is that you have a lot of machines and there are no reasons to read human machines. Christian. For example. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Did they go to get something or just run? Just come on, people. So, yeah. So that at least when you ask the you know where the hell you are. Yeah. As much as the other is more than the other is. You know, the hours of the night is the the last year. Like 24 7. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I have our, you know, one picture and also more time talking about. I'm not sure we have time to do that. I'm just gonna go down here. Yeah, okay. Or if we go down to the door, okay. Alright. So let's see. So Christian, we're Christian. Yes, that's what health is to be around people you care about. Right? Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, that's probably yeah. killing people more than anything. Yeah. Loneliness and not he having shared never, microbiome. And he was never yeah, My size are way up. Yeah. Quarantine yeah. is a fucking Venetian yeah. Italian yeah. idea. They never gave us anything good. I wonder if the pizza. See how short my bucks are, because that was, you know. Alright, a few moments for our team works, but the whole, like, just lock everybody down, or... I don't know anything, but I, I, I don't, I don't, I think you should believe anything. Okay, so yeah, that's, I think uh, most of us are here. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, yeah. 14, 15, no, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, so, um... Uh, next steps would be grab a couple of these. These are uh, halogen lights, so we'll do the bed. What is the bed? It's, um, it's a double sandwich with two halogen heaters in there inside a holder. So two each. We're going to need to cut. So what we do here is there's a top surface which has the, got the printing surface and it goes like this. And there's a screw that, that screws on the bottom. So we bind those together. But in between this is two halogen lights inside holders. And there's also a thermistor. So the thermistor detects the temperature that's just got feedback. So grab, grab a couple. Uh, so lights, as far as lights. Grab a couple, press it down. Grab a couple and press it down. Now, uh, We're also going to need uh, so holders. So there's holders and there's bulbs. So for holders, grab two of these. If it's got a broken piece, it actually does not matter because we're insulating it from the bottom. So grab a couple. So grab a couple of holders. Well, more people need them. Yep. So, uh, three here. Um, yeah, I need to. I need them. You got them? No. They just gave them theirs. They don't have more of them. Yeah, I'm not sending them out. They're not just part of the mind of them. How many more do we need? Like 12. Yeah. Okay. So let's start with some other steps on this. They must be at the half life. So uh, for these things, what, what we have on the bottom is an insulating uh, carbon fiber blanket. So that's this woolly stuff. Yeah, there's scissors, uh, but razor on the back of your wood block is probably the easiest. Cut around. It only needs to cover the top part. Just one square, six by six inches. Where are we finding them? Okay. Where are they? So cut the four by four. Sorry, six by six inch. Yeah, I think so. Against. 
the back of your wooden board using a razor. That's the easiest way. Use your top plate or bottom plate as the form. So these are uh, fragile. You don't want to be touching them too much. Now we're running them in series at 120. They're 120 bulbs. That means they're getting one quarter the power because we're running two in series. So uh, these are 500 watts each. That means if we're running them at quarter power, we get 1,000 divided by 4, 250 watts. Uh, but that's what we've, we've got as far as the system. There's more of this material right there. So, so grab some of the material. Of your plate. You give off cytokines and other people go, oh, oh, I respond to that. Probably, yeah. Yeah, right that's right what I here. The cytokine is something that always appears in the picture. Yeah. Oh. But then, apparently, <laughs> you... Uh, yes. Oh, we don't even know where you get yes. yes. that. No, no, we cut a square. Yeah. This material, this is the PEI surface, so keep cutting that fiber blanket. You're going to cut a six by six inch of this as well. Just just the same. Right, let's it down here. Now this, you have to be careful about how you cut it. You can do scissors. 
but you have to cut really hard into it. So we use it's those very out. short scissors. Scissors over here. Right. The short scissor thing, like this, and we can actually no. It's uh, like surgical scissors. All right, best thing there. Right. So let's get the surgical scissors. This stuff is very hard. This is a high performance thermoplastic. It's what we use. It's called PEI, polyethylamide. Uh, this is actually 3D printable. So with our high temperature printer, we'll be able to print this in the future for our print beds. At a dollar a pound, is it only like 32 bucks or one of these is quite expensive, it's like 32 bucks or something. Um, now it's got a surface on both sides. So we're going to peel it at the end. Oh, you got some note that it has surface around. on both sides, so you might as well, well, don't peel it before you cut it, but peel it after you cut it. And what I'll do is I'm going to get a, uh, this is what you're doing as well. So this is a, it's a vinyl siding blade. It's a plastic blade. You can do this. You'll find that your scissors are very hard to cut. Um, you, what you'll see is if you don't cut it with full force, it'll just break. Okay, so do we have the surgical scissors? Razors doesn't cut it. No, you can't do a deep score? No. What about a pocket knife? No way. No. no, it's too hard. This stuff is super hard. So, uh, I saw that we have the surgical lights here somewhere. Is that what's going to Yeah.
you got to take like little bites of industry, you don't like back out. Yeah, if you don't. Back out, you're going to get all these tiny little bites. You're going to get all these tiny little bites. You're going to get all these tiny little bites. Yeah. Wait too long. I know you usually have the whole one or something to get it to. Yeah, that's the question. I think this is this guy. And then we're going to glue that material on. Cut all the way through. Yeah. when you're using that much force, if you go out of your line, um, you'll easily mess it up. But as you reach. I was using it five minutes ago, I noticed. This isn't going to be strong enough when it's on. 
No, I suggest going past us with that and then going with that. As long as you have a deep group, that sister will work really well. but actually like more yellow, so peel both sides. Scissors here. You know. Yeah, we got the saw. Kind of crazy what's happening. Uh, not, so it's not good on a regular saw. We need the blade. So does anyone replace that? Yeah, there is no research in the saw. Um, here? Yeah, on the floor. Just kind of gross. Okay, so actually, let's demonstrate this. So close. So what does it look like if you actually do it faster than the saw? I was wondering what happened if you like ghosted everybody. Yeah. So let's go to the demo Seriously, table. Right? <laughs> yeah. Let's take it to the legs the next time. Uh, 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 maybe on the chair. Shut up, Theresa May. We know you can't find the slippers. Get a clean corner. So we got six inches. I'm just going to cut a strip just to demonstrate for future reference because I actually never used the blade on it yet. Always did it with the scissors. But you can cut thin plastic like PVC or siding with a very fine tooth blade, like 120 to 180. This one is 120, uh, very tiny teeth. I just would say, being a carpenter, cutting with a single blade like that, if you know what you're doing, you can do that. But it's also the easiest way to like cut your finger off. It's like probably the most dangerous tool there is, is a single blade. Yeah? Like, uh, like, like a... You mean, you mean... Not which? a skill saw, no, no, an exacto. It's like one of the most dangerous tools there is. You put force on one, you just slip. slip. Yeah, you can slip. But so I'm just saying, power tools are safer. Ironically, <laughs> I don't really consider that one. Yeah, all the people, all the carpenters I know, the bad, bad injuries they've ever got has been from slipping with with a, a cut an exact exact, exact and they're so it. sharp. Oh yeah, you can yeah. just you can sever okay. tendons with them. Yeah. 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 Yeah, you're right. It's like, I mean, it's like the difference between a bike and an e bike. If you have an e bike, you can get out of the way. <laughs> and a little bit of power is safety measure. Uh -huh. But relying on like elbow grease. <laughs> so we got like six inches exactly. So I'll go with these. And then. Also, because you look like a dog. <laughs> oh, I'm not familiar with how this one works. I'm not gonna cut it here, but oh, this one I believe. Where did that be here? Let's see. Four. Okay. So let's try it. So let's go this. Yeah. Why do you have. Why is there um, like V cross wire in the back window of the 
Keep your hands warm while you're pushing. Yeah. I think it's too bad. Alright, our family are being It's like Landro. No, like back in the day. They were like now it's supposed to be British cars, like Mini Coopers and the Range Rover. beginners and one of the other things is when this guard comes up uh, it almost bends this plastic so it's kind of hard this is hard I wouldn't recommend this I would just use heavy mm -hmm. scissors like that now what's your ideal tool for that it's one of those things cutting boards, yeah. cutting boards yeah so that's just a feel for it but yep but uh, the iron blade does work you just gotta hold it like constraints of this wall. Yeah. Where did that one go? This one. So, a chunk for mine. I still have it. Yeah. Uh, so scissors. Sorry, where'd the scissors go? Does anyone see the scissor? The good one? The good one. Scissors. Like we just had them here. Like here? Frankly. Yeah. No, the heavy. The surgical scissors, those ones? Yeah, they were fine. Yeah, they were fine. I think some of those uh, truly surgical ones you can like put anywhere, right? Yeah, yeah. They, they use on the ambulance. Because there's no else without that. There's an offset, the handles are slightly uh, open. It's not that I can off like that. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it done. No? Okay, so whoever's got this and it looks like green, that's not, you gotta go further and make it look like yellow by taking off the plas plastic off both sides. There's two sides. And you can also do this. If you don't do that, your prints won't stick to the green, which you can easily take off, but if it's on the bottom and it's on the glued side, it'll yeah. come off the it'll disconnect from your metal. So make sure you don't leave that on. Or just be aware that you take it off on one side and then you can take it off from the top side at the very, at the very end too. Yeah, you don't want to touch it, but we're running it at quarter power, so I don't see, like, you probably can. Okay, yeah. Oh yeah, of course. You get, like, the oils heat up and break them if they're running at full temp. Okay, so next we take a fat roll of double-sided adhesive. So two more tables, grab one, open this up, other table. So this is double-sided adhesive by 3M. And we're going to stick this to one side, peel it. I'll just show you exactly what we're doing here. So we will attach the adhesive to this head. Yep. So it's double sided. So first we do one side and then after we cut that off. So it's convenient to just go down the middle because we kind of can't use these. We don't really use that for anything much. So, so kind of 
Once again, pay attention to which is the side that's, that you peeled or not. So the back side I didn't peel. So the side you peeled, if you didn't do both, put it on, just kind of bend it down. Oh, what is that? Kind of keep it clean. But yeah, bend it down, just bend it down like that on a smooth surface and you'll, you'll get it on. Um, bam, that's it. And then take your razor and trim it off right next to it. And that's it. Then you've got this ready to be attached to your bed. Now the bed, you might feel it's, it's a little greasy. Like um, get some rags. We got those white rags here somewhere. You'll see, um, yeah, just get some of this grease off it. It might be pretty greasy. Um, the cleaner it is, the better it will stick. If you've got any egregious bubbles, you can pop them with your razor. So if you, if you put it on and it, you didn't do it that great, and there's like huge bubbles, just pop them with a razor. And they'll kind of flatten down because it's trapped air inside these, these things. But be careful to which side, if you t talk about the metal, it's the one that's got your, your elongated nut. That's the top plate. There's a bag right there, but... Yeah, I gave it away. Top plate is the one with the elongated nut. Okay. How much of those, like, the nut on this one's welded, it's sort of angled. That's yeah. fine. It's all right. Well, we just need to get a screw from the bottom. It'll, it'll still work. Um, Did you so it's the piece... The plastic? I'll take off both. You can take off I both of them. I already taken them both That's fine. Off, but it doesn't matter which side we're sticking that on. Well, like, yeah. Um, so now if you got your thing, just trim it, trim the edges. Push my razor. And throw that stuff out, keep your work area clean. This, this glue on this is good for like 180C or something like around there. So it's high temperature glue on this. It's high temperature adhesive. Okay, so you got that. You got your clean surface. And then you can peel. Yep, so, um, yeah, maybe, maybe do that. Do the cutting. Everybody get on the cut stack. So there are five of those. Five don't have the. Don't touch the belt. Okay. Alright, sounds great. You know, uh, 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 okay. The five of us don't have it, we'll 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 we will. Um, yeah, we shall do some. Okay. Um, and this just goes on the top, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Run your bed actually, your printer will still work once we get these in stock, which is, I guess we'll get them from Amazon. I don't know anywhere local that you can get them, uh, but actually, 
you can actually check a big box store because because these are standard these are your standard bulbs that go into, into various lights so you might actually find this at a place like menards mm -hmm. but that's a pain now what happens in the future like can we make these you could 3d print clay which is that ceramic you can 3d print clay and then bake it and you can make something like this too but for now we're kind of stuck the thing is about these they they have a little spring and they hold the bulb they're pretty precise geometry okay but once we have this stick it on you have to go off the other side and that's running on the top of this one right yep top it's going on the top of the one that has an elongated nut What's the one? Both. Both. Everybody on the. Yeah, take them both off and. Um, so now, once you have your 3M backing, peel that off and then stick it to your actual bed. So that's got. Just peel that off. And carefully, you get one chance. What? Once you do it, you kind of <laughs> sticks on because it's, it's pretty. Uh, it's pretty strong. So how do you do it? Like, just try to. I guess that that wobble there is inconvenient. Um, hold that like that. What, what are you doing? <laughs> so yeah, like maybe just try to carefully lay it on. But ideally you would uh, kind of do it at an angle. Like that. Yeah, okay. And then, yeah, you can peel off the top. You might as well do it now. Um, if you haven't peeled off the other side, just do it. Next step is to put the sandwich together. And uh, how does that go? If you don't have the bulb holder, just follow us and then we'll retrofit the bulb holder. But what you do so now take your on the plate. And now we need our one half inch conduit. So one half inch conduit is what we use as a spacer. So the sandwich looks like this. It's your your thing. Now here, note that through the very center, we're gonna need to put in a, a bolt. So we need to poke a hole through that. So maybe um, poke a hole. You just need to get a bolt through that later on. So just poke it. And there you go. You can do like a little slit. And then, uh, yeah, you can kind of mark the location and do a slit. And then you... What you gotta do is throw in a quarter inch bolt. So we'll take one quarter inch bolt. Conduit, place it on the side. Oh yes, yeah, so don't forget that bolt. Can we grab a bolt? I 
So like this. And then how do you wire it up? So now, okay, so now actually we got to, uh, we, we actually do solder them together. Yay! So soldering irons are what we need. Uh, they face, which way do you want to face them? In, like this, towards the bulb, towards the conduit. Yeah, that would make sense to me, but... It's kind of, yeah, it, it gets... Um, It'd be more even to get... It yeah. dumps the heat into the bulb, into so the tube. That's yeah. That's what we've got a plus for focus, if we do it back. Yeah. Yep. And, and, and then we can close it, but uh, we got to solder. Do, so, do the first soldering step, which is... Uh, I think people are going to start steps. Okay, this first step. So, yeah. gluing stuff on. Yeah, so let's uh, let's make sure everybody's uh, glued on. So after, yeah. So let's actually slow down, help the people who need the blue action. Yeah. Um, so we're not gonna run away. We'll grab. We'll grab all the soldering irons. You will see more. <laughs> All the, all the little uh, two by two struts are for. They're uh, when you build like a frame for like that. So you have and I have a for the, the people that are working, keep working. Okay. For the others that have a little bit of entertainment, this is thermoplastic urethane. You can print this on your printer. It sounds too large, doesn't it? Well, won't you like crumple it up and print it like this, and you'll fit it on your bed and just print it. It'll stay stuck. Yeah. Wow. wow. Yeah, it'll stay stuck. You print, you'll just have to straighten it out. This is hard stuff. This is 4,000 PSI tensile strength. So this kind of belt, yeah, I mean, you can talk that, about... That one's been straightened out or that got printed no, in that shape? No, that got printed. Okay, that was uh, if, you, if you do print it on this bed, it'll, and it'll be like that, but yeah. then you just bend it yeah, out and gotcha. it'll be okay. So talking about like tractor drive, you, you make this fat one inch thick and that's tractor drive that that's a lot of material so you can't do that inexpensively off the shelf you got to start making your own tpu is it 100 regrind this is 100 percent infill yes indeed so and then there's like so i was playing around with gear downs solid. like solid gear downs so this is the other part of it actually putting in four inch mm -hmm. tube Four inch steel. So this would go on a four inch steel, so you're driving some heavy stuff. This was for the using a hundred watt little fast motor uh, to drive this with a, like a 10,000 gear down. <laughs> so you can do tractor drive. Tra so you can, you can do that. Like you can drive a tractor on a hundred watts, it'll go very slow. But if you gear down it, gear down it, <laughs> it will have the power. It will have the torque rather. Yeah. So not the power, but the torque. You can go slowly, very hard. Like we did a tiny power cube, one one horsepower power cube that we plugged into the wall and we drove live track with it. it just Ooh. went like, like, like <laughs> very slow, but just but it, it has the same torque, four thousand pounds of uh, pushing force yeah. still. So that's uh, transmission and gear downs. So what's the soldering coming in? How long did that take to break? Oh, like a four hours probably. What? Uh, that's quick. That's what, we've got 1.2 nozzles, print rate is five pounds per 24 hours. So this is maybe like two pounds. So maybe, yeah, maybe more like 10 hours or something. Uh, Where does the soldering come in? Yep. Soldering comes into the, soldering the wires in series. So what's series mean? Yeah. What do you got in series? That's series. 
Uh, so these go to the 120. So these are two 120s in series, uh -huh. which means you get a quarter of the power out of them. We can crimp them. these too. If we're you can crimp them right now. You can uh, wire nut them. But for a solid connection, you want to. What yeah, you do I don't want to solder. do is solder, then put heat shrink around it to make a good connection. Uh, the solder. So there's a solder right here. So let's bring that to the table. And, uh, uh, and, uh, be, you can What's your experience doing? I built the uh, e-bike battery. Do you know, do you know that? Um, do you know Lottie? Have you seen? Here's yeah, another two. Uh, people on soldering irons. Yeah, he doesn't use AP. One for this table. Uh, one for this. Yeah. Uh, he, gets all, he gets all of his sources online. Uh, he more money. No, he, 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 lists, he lists where to get things. He lists where to get things. You have to pay him to get the bill. Yeah, that's what the BOA was for. 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 Yeah, that's what the BOA I think the whole, um, I think all the resources are, but it's not much. He's charging like $150 or something. Yeah, I love that part because it's just such a... He's doing such maverick stuff. Yeah. And he's so... He's so good. So as far as... Uh, everything such high quality. I appreciate that a lot. Yeah, testing stuff. Yeah. yeah. I'm very... We can really solve a lot of things. You know, medical grade equipment even. Yeah. So if I have one, I could still run one, and it will work. <laughs> It'll be 500 watts, so double the power, and pretty hot. So at that point, I gotta be careful about like, did I touch it? It's got oil on it. It will have full power, so much hotter. The reason for running two is that they don't burn out. If you turn this thing on, on and off in your printer all the time because you're heating the bed and keeping it at a stable temperature, it will just burn out pretty quick. I was running mine for like five months now, haven't burned it out because it's at low power, it's at quarter power. And that's how you get these things to last forever with respect to lifetime design. So run, run things at below their spec to make them last a lifetime. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, um, it's a good way. We had a lot of trouble with the Nichrome heaters. They, tend, they get hot and they burn out. And they're much slower. This is radiant heat that goes directly to your to your top as soon as the lamp turns on. It's radiant immediate. Whereas if you've got nichrome heaters, they have to travel through the insulation first because you can't have a bare nichrome wire. You got to insulate it with uh, like fiberglass sleeve, and that takes forever. Like this is like twice as fast to heat up or three times as fast to heat up as the as, as the extruder if you can appreciate that uh, which means that yeah it's just it's just fast typically you, you wait for the bed to heat up here the bed heats up twice as fast as the extruder there's a halogen in the extruder yeah so the black material is meant to be thermally insulating the black material is thermally insulating so you can actually touch the bottom at the end of the day uh, it's carbon fiber blanket it's welding blanket that's what they use for welding okay. cover. Yep, so uh, we gotta yeah, use the soldering irons. There's a few on where'd you find the solder? We got more solder? Does anyone want to get some something soldered solder. themselves? Yeah, so some people are still we can keep these two steps. Um, as far as the the plastic surface on it, as long as it sticks, that's your quality control. I mean, that's fine. You don't have to be too accurate with it. It's going to work. Yeah. Yeah, you've got those two strips there, too. that. So we can also, yeah, you observe. Paul and Eric, they've got these two strips across their... Um, Cut yourself with, uh, it's, it's not needed, but it's, it's convenient, nah, you don't need it. Uh, yeah. 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 I don't know, that's what we consider with the airflow in there, so it doesn't get too hot in there. Well, that's where, no, it, well, that's not true, actually, because uh, it's turned off as soon as it's too hot, so. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah, yeah, so this is thermostatically controlled by 
Inside our conduit, and then plug it up with a piece of, uh, and plug it up. Yes. So I had an error here, and it seems it's pretty uh, hard. Maybe we can just do this from the beginning. That's okay. Let's put some electrical tape there. I'll leave it. Yeah. Um, let's see. I'm kind of stuck on this thing, but. Uh, uh, yeah. So anyone want help sol soldering? Soldering? Yes, me too. All right. They're gonna be okay. So, so if you have, um, if you have that, as long as it doesn't touch the top, it's gonna lay flat. So it's not gonna touch anything. But you're gonna have that one. Uh, we would want to check Menards or Home Depot. Uh, you're missing some? Our whole table. Yeah, I have two more at my house, and we can. Uh, I'm gonna grab those. Yes, we're gonna. We need to get that, like, source it, like ASAP. Electrical tape, anyone? But we have three days to to get that in, in place. Who would like some electrical tape? Is there a wire that's... Oh, you need both. Uh, you see the, the difference? You, you, you got your phone? Uh, take a look at Menard's... Uh, Halogen and lamp holder. Yeah, we can just switch them if they're wrong. The wires still need to go together. Does anyone want help soldering? I can do it for you. Oh, you did it that way. I don't know. Yeah, you can just... Okay, I got three of them here. It was, uh, did somebody just drop one on me here? Someone sold it? Someone just dropped a cable on me, yeah? Yeah, I've got one. Um, Paul, do you want to help with that? Yeah. My, uh, you have one over? Uh, yeah. Okay. No, no, those are mine. Oh, okay. Thanks. Bummer. Back to Zoom. Bummer. So we're yeah, so we're doling out these sensors and these wires themselves, we solder them to a two foot lamp. Two foot what? Length is what regular wire. Regular wire. Oh, 
Oh, this is the uh, thermos door. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to ride Somebody go grab the wires. So, um, so you got one side connected to each other. The other one gets two foot wires, and then we bind them up. Uh, kind of bundle them up with zip ties, so the thermistor would go inside the tube, and then plug it. Cut yourself a little piece of the, I guess the fiber. Well, actually, let's not waste the carbon fiber blanket. Let's use. Uh, we've got a whole lot of insulation. Uh, Christian, where'd you get that nut? We all want them. I think this table needs. You don't have any nuts, right? To so fasten the plates to each other. I gave you one. Oh, we're supposed to have one. Oh, no, you want to get this right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. I have one. I have one. Yeah. So yeah, that's, being that's rock wool. It's on the other side. What we'll do is, um, have one. wherever you got your, your end, you know, put it in. So put it in like halfway. You need some stability. You don't want too much airflow around this, so you just plug it up. You know, plug it up on one side and plug it up on the other side. So here, I'll kind of mark. Okay, so you want to maybe mark it with a with a marker to know that you gotta keep it in there because you don't know like there it's like all the way in so you just mark it that that's all the way in and plug it up with your um, it's rock wool insulation there and then plug up this side so the thing doesn't come out so stick it in there all the way in yeah and then so it doesn't come out Wait, so what's happening here we're plugging up our, our thermistor. Plugging holes. What is the thermistor? It's a temperature sensor. So it's a temperature sensor that that gives feedback to the controller so that this is regulated at a precise temperature. So we do that. Why do you have two on both sides? Well, this one needs to get connected through to this one. This this is so you don't smash, you don't crush your lamps. So what happens here is I do this. Oh, let's see and then screw the screw in from the bottom. Once you press it down, that will pinch the lamp holders in between. So then you have to feel where that screw is. Well, you can do, you can go like. So it's just going in like to the middle like that, right? All the way in. Poke not, your screw through. It's not going all the way like that, no? Once you screw. clamp down the screw, these um, yeah, but I guess it's yeah. the give yeah. and the carbon fiber will actually well, smack down on the right on the lamp holder. That's what will happen. But since it's a it's covered in an aluminium uh, conductor, it mm -hmm. might not matter. So now you can go. Better have to wait. Back. And I can put my own way in. Let's see. Things work better. So it makes sense to me to put it in the middle. Yeah. And then I just screw down from the bottom. Nothing. When you when you pinch down, so check this out. If I now take my M6, where's my M6? Or M5? Um, That's M5. 
The thing is, so I'm going to take this loose lamp because I've got that one. But once you pinch it down, it's actually going to clamp down on right on the lamp holder. So up a little more. But you'll, you'll see it clamp down. And now, that thing doesn't move anymore. So it's actually very convenient that one layer of, of that works. But if you want more security, you can also put another layer of the carbon fiber blanket. The one just works. It, it, you can see it pinch in. It'll pinch in gently because it's just the right size. Mm -hmm. So this is actually works out well with half inch conduit. If you use larger conduit, that doesn't work. But you see the, the metal of the bomb plate just bend in a little bit. You want it to be as heat tight as possible. Like uh, you don't want airflow in there because airflow is cooling. This is insulated at the bottom, and you want all the heat going up to your print. So that's that's the basic idea. Um, but we, yeah. So did people follow this thing? What I did with the thermistor? Yeah. What is this something? Do it again. Do it again. You want to do it with, do it with so someone else's? So I don't need to take that one apart. Yeah. So if you already put it together, yeah, but that's like, you can actually pinch it down more. It could go tighter, yeah, I know, I, I didn't pinch it all the way yet. Yeah. So we can pinch it down. I'm just checking. Yes, they, they don't move. Because you don't want them to fall out when you're going back and forth on the bed. The bed moves. Mm -hmm. uh, on a pro, the bed just goes up and down. And this one, it moves back and forth. Um, the one mystery is what do we do with this? Do we uh, throw it inside? Nah, I wouldn't do that. I would just do this and and tape it on the bottom. Tape it with uh, Kapton tape. I'll, I'll get some. Oh, I kept it inside. Uh, so, because that's, what is that? That's solder. Solder melts at like what? 200, 300? Yeah. So uh, those lamps are going to be hot. They're going to be... You can melt, you'll definitely melt the, the plastic and then you'll expose the solder. So keep it outside. Yeah, there's a thermistor on their solder together. Yeah, I can do that for you. Fire, fire. Yelling out, like, kind of so the thermistor is a, a separate device which just goes into. So here we got take take yeah. one side, slip it in there, and put some rock rock wool in there to, to hold it in place. So we got this rock wool in this big bag. This is good for like a thousand C. This doesn't burn. And just plug it up. Oh, I'll just use that pipe a lot. Plug it up so the thing is there, it just doesn't fall out. And it's thermally insulated, like it's got no airflow in there, so it stays more stable. Like if you had airflow in there, that wouldn't get you accurate readings. It would just jump all over the place, which it does, like I saw in one of mine. It does that. So, so plug it up on both sides. And then add two feet of wire to this. Christian, can you grab the red, blue, red, black wire from the hab lab? We got a roll of it. Or, you know that red, black? <coughs> oh, there it is. I can see it. So now add two. So that's soldering again. Solder the wire to this, and then put this. These things are pretty cool. They're they're called uh, what are these called? How long do you need? Wire knots. They're not. They're called uh, sister wire guys. It's really cool. So you lift it up, and then you stick your thing in. But that's after you put the wire on. So solder this together. But here you want to actually get a heat gun and put some heat shrink on around this. Uh, that yeah, that's okay. But heat shrink is uh, far superior. Yeah. So after you 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 solder two feet of it, and put your uh, strip it. And that goes in there, and once it snaps down, you gotta strip it first. Once it snaps, mm -hmm. this holds it. It holds it. So it's a nice quick connector. It's a pretty convenient one, yeah. Okay. So grab one of these. Uh, so we attach two feet, and then uh, bind, bind this up together, and then we need that wire loom. The loom from that side. Is this necessary? I'm surprised yeah. that you need to strip it. You do. It looks like it would just go. But it's not designed as yeah. Pierce. How long do these need to be? Two feet. Eighteen inches. Eighteen inches. Two feet. Eighteen inches would do. Yeah. So um, 
yes, make them on the same side. Make the wires that you're actually connecting because you want a nice, neat tail going back. Yeah, that makes Going sense. back to where it's connected. Where's that black so this shrink wrap? Black you. shrink wrap, who's seen it? Yeah, no, he, he found the thing for the oh, here. here. No, not here. Is that cool? Oh. Yeah, it's somewhere here. Uh, when the solder is hot enough, it gets all shiny. So that's when you're ready to let go of the solder. Yeah. Oh, you got the one here? Okay. Does so anyone need help soldering? It's not quite too big. It's supposed to be soldering. Can you get that? Well, oh, that's not even sure. No, that's just a microphone. Are you serious? Yeah. Um, just do this. Can you use what? Can you cut one for me, too? Yeah. Yeah, you should. Uh, yeah, well, we have shrimp right like that. Yeah, but I'll just use uh, an extra ticket. Yeah, yeah. I'll try Alright, um, let's wait for that. Yes. Okay, who after five? Could you undo that? Yeah. And then, I'll have this. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. Well, this one, the really important thing is to get all of this really hot. So this one just seeps in. Do you force it before you yeah. put the solder on? You want, you want it to get hot. It's like that. You get it hot. Uh, don't want to go with your like this. Yeah, if you want to do that. So you get to it. You can heat it. So I think you should just leave it here. Like you can roll it over or push like a, like a zip tie. And uh, yeah. So this gets you to a uh, so shrink it. Like you, you connected that with this one. And then you put like a, like a plastic and you peel it over. So where's the trick? Uh, that's the wrap it Yeah, it's just a little bit of a
Black electrical tape. Do you solder this? Or are you just directly with this? Oh, red and black. Red and black. Now we can do a little NASA alignment splice. Or not. NASA alignment splice? Yeah, they have this specific solder they used to use in NASA in NASA because it's the strongest type of type of uh, connection. But now they they only use crimps apparently. Uh -huh. I, I listened to some of the like 50 year celebration of the moon landing, yeah. and I th I never knew that that they that we landed on the moon. Yeah, no, <laughs> <laughs> that they the the computers that they made they actually wove the circuit boards, and they hired ladies that were like weavers to make yeah. them. Like some of the patience and, uh, and meticulousness too. Yeah. <laughs> don't, 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 don't hire a bunch don't of don't guys for that. <laughs> don't drop a stick. Yeah, yeah, I want to put them on the table there. Mm -hmm. But yeah, they're two feet. Yeah, there was a. And then um, a strike at one point, and some guys not distribute tried to do it as well. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> totally for now, at least. <laughs> it's fine. We'll just hire men to do it. Uh -oh. Come back. Yeah, exactly. You're amazing. We like the curtains. <laughs> Wait, that doesn't make sense. What? They shouldn't touch each other, right? Yeah. So you, so two. you need two. That's right. Okay. Yeah, that's why I had two here. Yeah. Like, yeah, I should have taken one. Maybe it's because you're not in your workbench. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> How do I get this little bugger off? You said we didn't have a wire stripper, right? No, we have resin blades, and they're pretty thick.
Yeah. 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 The ones they have is for way bigger wires. Okay. But I cut well, mine with a eraser. Yeah. 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 Classic. Get my shrink. Don't forget your shrink wraps, folks. Shrink wrap what? <laughs> shrink wrap for what? <laughs> Aren't you uh, putting just a connector on those? Why you need shrink wrap? What? After solder? Soldering to what? A solder. Why not? No, but soldering to what? It's two wires. Plus and minus. Yeah. To the bulbs. Hmm? To the bulbs. Uh. Right, yeah, he's a connector. No, I want to solder. Yeah. <laughs> you can't solder. Uh, I don't know, honey. What are you for? Where did he go? Shrink him? Shrink him? I can him over there, but I don't know if they have the small ones. I feel like I saw him fall in the other area. Yeah, the solder. Hmm. Soldering iron, rather. You just right on there? It should burn a hole, no? On the shrink wrap? Yeah. Well, I mean, you, you kind of have to tap it, but. Yeah. It's fine. Even you, uh, you, if you want to be fancy. I do. No. These guys are working way too hard. Just have one more little piece of heat. I think Penn is looking for them. Thank you. 
Давай. Guys, I was number four there. Second guy made himself. Uh, his dream was to become the HR. He's so always worked like factory floors or whatever. So he was just like, I'm gonna be the best HR. Second day there, he buys my T-shirt says, uh, "Think outside the box." So she just thought I was so good. Nine months later, he's like, "I can't stand you!" <laughs> like he was complete. I, I got a, I got a, a paper with all the reasons he wanted to fire me. One of them was that I didn't laugh at the, at the, at the boss's jokes. <laughs> <laughs> and another one was that I didn't reply to emails outside of work time. And didn't get better, it was just the stup most stupid list. And then the boss said, Thank you. No, uh, yeah, I didn't reply to emails outside of work time. Yeah. Well, if you wanted to reply to emails, you could include it in your work schedule. Yeah, and, the, pay for that. and then my boss came in with a trolley with whiskey on at like 1 p.m. or 9 in the morning or something. <laughs> And uh, and I was like, hey, uh, have you seen this list, Patrick? This is why apparently I'm getting fired because I had never had a warning or anything. We gotta fire you. It took him like five minutes. I was like, yeah, I don't think we should fire you. I think you're doing a great job. And this HR guy just lost it, lost his shit. Here first. Oh, um, the carpet yeah, was over there. But Here. No? It's not this? I think it's on the ground. No, no, no. Oh, the felt. That's at the very end. I put it there. Yeah, it's another roller. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You said you're a soccer player. What else was you doing? I had more little projects, but uh, trying to do more open source. Well, yeah. Stuff. Your shirt reminds me of the, I love this. the uh, gas computer. Oh. X for middle. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> but this is actually a scope function. Measure one, scope one. Measure one, and they put it the short. Oh, that's really cool. And yeah. if it's wrong, it's and okay. Right. And and it's wrong. Anyway. Right. 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 I, uh, we, uh, we don't... Okay, to, uh, you uh, we had one, yeah. Um, you mean because of the sleeve, or...? Oh, it sounds hugely sensible to me that there's lots of flex in that, right? Right. But you could also sort of just put a... Uh, when you put this thing on, there's a lot of stretch in it, and I kind of kind of see what he says, but... I get at the end of the world, and you need to do something, yes, you might be able to pull that out. But you, you can do it, right? Now, if this wasn't, if there was more like a rubberized one, maybe. Yeah. So this is incredibly. I mean, look at that. Yeah, but you can see this first time over. 
first. Like I can't imagine. I mean, maybe maybe it is. Maybe it'll just like fold out and be fine. You know, but I can see the strip unfolding. We have one here this morning, and we're all putting uh, the tables. I don't know where we're going to get this. Which uh, the tea? Oh. Five minutes. Well, I didn't hear that. I only heard crimping too. Yeah. Okay. Drop loud. I was, yeah, I was asking a while ago too, and I went and looked for it, and I found it. It's a shame there wasn't a central authority to uh, find that. Uh, yeah, I mean, an old old wing, uh, let me guess, what, God? Demi? God? Who's been having to be old old wing? Just, uh, somebody who's in charge. Yeah. 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 I'm somewhat fatalistic when it comes to uh, solder inhalation at this point in my life.
You don't need it? Right. Uh, well, is that okay? It's cool. I mean, well, so yeah, the, the, worst, but the thing is, somebody's going to touch it with their face. Yeah. <laughs> stay here, what can I do? Just guard it with your face. <laughs> just just guard it the other way around. Yeah. Just lay it on the table. Yeah, that doesn't Just lay it on the metal table. There. Okay, that sounds good. Mm. Alright, so what we have now is a pink bed. Set at this section. We will move out because of this knob. The two wires and the two lamps, knowledge and lamps. And it's then resistor. What's the temperature resistor thing called again? What's this called? Thermistor. Thermistor. And the thermistor. Uh, in front. <laughs> uh, we, we didn't find the heat shrink. We found heat shrink. It's a little thick. Okay, we got the better ones. Okay. I used this. We got more in the you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. We have a uh, I did too. I did like source layer. Anyone else need? This little block is funky on the inside. Mm -hmm. I guess. I thought this was for the other end. I thought that was like plugging the whole table in. Oh, okay. Is this gas? I don't know if it's you have to turn it on first. Yeah. All right. Oh, I misunderstood that. Two days that we were supposed to connect that with these. No, I think one of the things that the roof will be able to do is... Why don't you have two? Okay, you said that I got a solder disc on here? Yeah, you can also use these. Yeah. Super he said, no. Super yeah. 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 I'm going to put that water on and it fall down. Yeah. Alright, now I want to see you solder. We don't have any solder here. Yep. So as before, put some on there, heat it on the low, and then you start feeding it until you got it covered. Yep. It might take a little bit to heat up, no? We just, it's already done. Oh, it is, it's already done. Okay, so put some on here. Yeah, stick that to the other side. Oh, that works. Stay on the bottom. Yeah, maybe angle it up so the solder at the bottom of the tip. It's on there. Yeah. Prince. Ah, perfect. Need some assistance. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh yes. Keep it steady there on the the solder tip. Put the tip of it. Oh. Okay, then let's keep this, the gun on. You know, and then we're going to put it. Yeah, yeah. That's very strong. See the solder's all the way around? Okay. That's good. And then what you're gonna wanna do later is just fold this like that and tape it all over. Okay. 
There's the wire strippers over there. Two. Let's do a fancy one. Let's want to open up like that. Open up this a little bit. Just put this inside each other like that. Get a good twist so it doesn't come off when you solder it. Put some solder on here. Uh, yeah. You might need to put a little bit like on both to put things up, but as soon as you have a little solder on the wire, the rest of it's just going to melt right into it. Because the solder conducts the heat very well. I saw ramps or the solder contacts. At least a few of them. Maybe not the fitment, but at least uh, the core. Okay, so let's combine it with the rest of that stuff. Yes, it is. No, it's, it's rock and roll. So that's so, soldered. Yeah. Okay. So let me grab it from yeah. uh, Apple. Yeah. Hold still. I'm just waiting for it to be clear. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think so. But if it does, you want to switch it. Yeah. Yeah. We do live when we finish that. Unless we heat the truck and solder it together, it's a bunch of trucks. One would imagine that if it uh, mattered, we would have uh, paid attention to that or while we're connecting. Yeah, yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> Very good. That's enough. <laughs> Let's clamp it together and make it a little bit tighter. Sorry. Oh, good thing. Yeah. Ready? I'll just squeeze this a little bit. Yeah, that's all good. Just tape them up so they can never touch. Okay, individual. Yeah. Okay. 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 Thank you. Yeah, what is it? Yeah, I got you can use that cable, I got I got one. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
This is like, it should be copper. That's a good thing to scrape it off of. And I think this is, uh, it's, uh, what do you call it? Tin? No, not tin. Uh, brass. So it's brass. Such a man of the world. Colombia, huh? I live there. What do you like about it? People, nature. Yeah. That's, that's in the Sierras a little bit? Uh, well, I spent a lot of time in Santa Marta where they have like high bounties, like Santa yeah. Sierras, right uh, next to the ocean. Uh -huh. so it's kind of like Cape Town, where I've never been, but it's just okay. interesting energy. Right there. The Medellin, that's in a valley, so it's kind of like this eternal spring weather thing. Mm -hmm. 60 degrees, a little bit green, but I love that on this perfect sunny spring day. Every day. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Medellin. And it's, that, it's planned out by Germans too, so it's it's a nice, you know, uh -huh. you get around, you see it. And, yeah. stuff. and uh, also they have like the sort of Med Medellin cartel, of course, and, uh, and that's sort of aesthetic that are all women and <laughs> such. Like a blue job is like a classical 16 year old gift in the world. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you can go through a mall, it's yeah. like there's no uglies here. Like, where do they all go? <laughs> they just have really good surgeons. <laughs> We care a lot too. Yeah. Brazil, I was in the middle of nowhere. And, Where? Um, I mean, I was originally in um, Pirinópolis, yeah. which is by um, um, yeah. Brasilia, yeah. about two hours outside of Yeah, I've never went there. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Where did you live? Um, yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. Sounding like That's so. accurate, right? So, Brasilia is an accurate. No, no. Um, this is own state. Brasilia itself is its own state, but then when you're outside of, you're in. Um, Anyone has the wire? Um, uh, right here. Yeah. Thank you. Um, right. I was studying at the uh, Chrome Culture Center there. Um, so, I very quickly within like a day and a half of being there. I was like, oh, God, they have nothing to teach. That's <laughs> so, but I had an unrefundable yeah. ticket, and I was there for five months. So I said, can I just volunteer and do projects and yeah. learn what I can while right. I'm there? Oh, hard work. Uh, I, 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 I was going to change you there. So, so I'm 17. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, you guys are wrong. I was 17. There you go. I, I got this necklace for my eyes. All right. Okay. Uh, so uh, okay. this is already yeah. at 788. Yeah. And where were you? Uh, it's a couple of Yeah, yeah, did you guys uh, uh, finish the end off sort of it? Just by the door. Get that piece right. on there, yeah. right? Or you come up from underneath. Yeah, kind of, and then, 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 then you let it. It's right to the end of that is bullshit. And then, and then, 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 then now that you're here watching, it's working. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, now that you're here. 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 Yeah. Uh, so I'll do and then I said I built a place in Moranga. Um, um, the highest density of cave complexes in the world. Oh, yeah, that's right. Big, big, big. 
Yeah. Like bats and stuff? Mm -hmm. Do they have bats? Yeah, there's bats there. I didn't see like that sort of like exodus of yeah. like hundreds of thousands uh, of bats. Yeah. But, yeah. Like the river that came past our property came out of a, a cavern. Yeah. Straight wow. And it's like it was a 30 meter wide river. Yeah. yeah. Well, okay, so uh, yeah, regarding mean. this, yeah. the lever nuts go on the far end of this thing. The near end is soldered. Yeah, like these. Okay, so I think a couple of us yep. have to redo it. So close end, you're going to solder it. Far end, it's lever nut. No, it's a couple of us. Instead of like those guys, so that we call you out. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to make a thing about it, I'm pretty sure I need to. What? Why would you ever excuse me? Something to lay in this. Oh, here you are hiding oh. yours under <laughs> Hiding? No, 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 no. This is supporting it. <laughs> You're like, you got it too. No, that's <laughs> See something, say something. So, so we don't do it like this anymore. No, 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 we need to solder it. Solder, yeah, solder that. There's one. This is an example of what not to do. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. yeah, you did that just to show you. <laughs> <laughs> just to show everybody, this is not how you do it. I'll get you the house and holders from, I've got two printers in my place, I'll rip them Okay, off. cool. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this here. Uh, any soldering iron that's not being used, there's three. Where? Can I? There's two over there. Oh, where's? There's two more. There's another one over there. Yeah, can I get one? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, can I get one? Yeah, that's good. Oh, but if we keep the lights ready. Under some light. There's no water down here, no? Or and then we're moving on to Vaxies. I think that's pretty good. Axis. <laughs> the axes of plastic distribution. Accurate plastic deposition. Oh, yeah, good axis or bad axis. Axis for distribution. Okay. I'm going to do this guy. Oh, yeah. Big sign. Yeah, I had almost, I mean, I spent nine years with a Brazilian woman. Really? And oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. I, I yeah. did nine days, but nine years sounds like a lot of work. Where are you? I know, she's on the trip. Yeah, I'm sorry. No, no, no. 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 We built a uh, culture center down there. And you spend that much time there too? Or? I spent probably maybe a bit over three years in Brazil all right. altogether. We would go back and forth with the states and come up and make money and go fund our projects. Yeah, keep falling. Keep falling. And how do you hold your wires together for straight side? So I know how to like, hold them parallel and twist them. I did that and then I just spread them out. And then you pull it. Is that a little harder than that one? So, yeah, I'm just, so, do your tip initial. Yeah. I only know this because I'm going to do it. It'd be smart to do it all at one time, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, do that. Do, um, solder it. Yeah, and then you just hold it over on the side. Hold it for you. Hold it there. Hold it the bottom and set it this. Yeah, I think you have to uh, sort it first and then uh, tape afterwards. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, I was just asking people to shrink it. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, 
Oh, I guess I get the joke. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it takes a long. Everybody's focused, and that's a good thing. There's got to be some flux in it, otherwise, yeah, that's why it's smoking, no? Yeah, could have more flux. No. Let's do the other one. It's still really hot. Did anyone see the other soldering iron in uh Hab Lab, or because there's another big one? I only seen one of the big ones. Oh. That's a good one. Like it went to halogen lamps. Yeah, you turn that on? Thank you, man. Is that one turned on? I can tell. It's not. I don't see the meeting. Okay. It's not plugged in. Sorry, I like seeing a lot of stuff. No, it's a good thing. And then where you're on the wire side, you want to solder, it's called tinning, just tin the ends so they don't fray. Uh, so you want to just get some solder on the one that goes into the lever nut. Tinning, ten, like ten, ten solder tape, and then and then put that. That's and then you can take them out in and, and out of the lever nut repeatedly without just breaking them at the end. So after the lever nut, so who's at the lever nut? What's Everyone? Oh, that's the lever nut. Yeah, at the end. So we're soldering still. Yeah, so that, that'll be the final step. So stick them both in, lift up the handles, and then stick one into each. And they lock in. And that's going to be the connection to the rest of the controller. So, who else needs to solder? Sorry. No. Come on. Come on. Uh, before you do that, you want to get them throw on the heat shrink because we're going to wrap them up with the heat shrink. Before you solder, put the heat shrink on. Uh, we have um, this thin heat shrink in a whole clump by, by Michael there. The whole roll of this thinner heat shrink. So basically sleeve that Leave that on because afterwards, after the soldering, you can't put the heat shrink on unless you rip the two wires apart. But we're just keeping them together. We have any little caps we can just twist off the ends? We could. That's also true. Is that soldering iron or very hot? That's what my question was. I was asking the people with heat shrink in there if they were just wrapping up electrical. <laughs> so I got my answer now. Will that reach over there, the solder? Yeah, yeah. yeah, the other one didn't seem to get hot. Thank you. And what you said, yeah. this is just for what? Yeah, now, like now twist it back. Twist it back. She would have been right. She is my partner. Sister's daughter, that would be my niece in law or something, or whatever. She got given a good job for her 16th birthday. Yeah. Like, what? It's like $3,000. Yeah. 
3,000 hay ice, actually. Yeah. 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 No, I mean, it doesn't really seem to be. Uh, I mean, Sixteen-year-olds don't have really anything to be honest. Yeah. No, but it was a gift to her. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, just like what? Grandpa got you three thousand dollars to get a boob job. Welcome, Anna Carolina. And like, I think. Thank you. Thank you. Is that an insult or a? Yeah. Who wants to get that endowment? Yeah. yeah. But I in, an interesting thing in Brazil that basically, I mean, now there's new blood and new people there, but historically, like if you weren't military, um, basically all the women there were either in. I'm not sure what the function is, workers. but. Um, yeah. If you're a military, you're allowed to have your wife like, as a high military, like general or something. Yeah. But other than that, every single woman in the country was a sex worker for like over 200 years. So, in that area? In the entire country, all of Brazil. Like to be Brasileiro or Brasileira means a worker of Brazil. Um, we were not a citizen. We were only going there to extract resources to send it back to Europe. Yeah. So. Really was the, like the brothel by that we built the, the west of the U.S. Mm -hmm. like they put up a brothel, take much money, buy a spoon, buy a hotel, yeah. start a post office. Yeah, and then move along. Yeah. So like the next outpost. Yeah, all they have is gold and sexual frustrations. Gold and sexual frustrations. Yeah, I'm just saying, instead of the take value, take value. Oh, okay. Alright. Alright. You can go then, probably put that on there. I was going to say, you can slip a piece of the top of the top and make it extra pretty good. Alright, wait for the night. I used to do precision shot and solder and the microscope and everything. Let's just use it. 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 Yeah, I'm not going to do it. This up. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's got an electrical connection. It just looks so nasty that uh, now they're kind of yeah. getting a little you know, bit uh, feel back again. You know what it is, but I'd recommend you to do it. Get a little higher up on the on the This is hard. There's a heat gun over there. Cool for that. They're working with it over there. They're working with the whole rig over. What does that do when you pre... Uh, it's a tin in them, and they don't fray up. Okay. Before you twist it and stuff? Yeah. No, no, no. These, these, these ones... Oh, that's to go inside the... Uh, to go in here? Yeah. Okay. So with these bad boys, let's do one at a time. That's yeah, so good. You just get the heat all over those, that, those slides. I got you. Mad up! <laughs> 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 it's like a general, but yeah, well, it's 
a bit like the, the Russia or something. Like. It's big, but it's like, Nazis can go there and hide. <laughs> oh, I did. <laughs> My goodness, you go down, did you travel much? No, I was only in that area. Okay. I, Rio or Carioca area. I've done, I've done two 7,000 kilometer trips around Brazil, like long trip, like taking my time. And my partner, she had been in international business travel and like organized just journeys everywhere in Brazil. And she's like, you need at least a very minimum a year to know Brazil. And I, I feel like I barely got the flavors of all the different places. I really liked like Goiânia and Goiás, and there's something about the culture in there. It's like, um, yeah, that inland mountainous regions were just short cities. It's like from horizon to horizon, skyscrapers. And like, you've never heard of this place. I don't know what it's about. And then, like, how many people have heard of Denver? I love the space along the coast between Sao Paulo and um, Rio. Like the just they've got this undulating coast with like angry like bays and little islands and like oh, it's amazing. And, oh my god. I did the um Camino which is pretty amazing to like all the way it's along the coast and it goes in, it goes in, it goes in, it goes all the strongholds of where the, the royalty like when this is strategically important, this is strategically important and they built churches all the way and, um, there's, there's a town, Chita Dinch, which I know the history of like um, yeah. Oh. Like, two colors. <laughs> he, he's basically he got cut at each segment and posted on all the roads because he was um, he was a general. I think he was a general that was like organizing slaves to throw down slavery. And uh, like, this is what happens to people. And he stood up and said, I am completely responsible for it. I did it myself. Um, there were 12 other people, but they stayed quiet and they stayed with the force. And they took another 12 years and they, they, they succeeded all together. He born like Rob. But he did that. Can you imagine? He, and they cut him every. I, Portuguese fellow? Yeah. Uh, yeah, a white Portuguese fellow. It's just he's like, no more. He's saying, right, right. You're yeah. sorry. And they. We can have it. Or I don't know. That's a nice solder. I need like a stupid little bit of solder right here. Yeah. I guess I'll go over there. Easy mm drop -hmm. <laughs> Oh, you, you like the, you holding that up on it? Say again? You, I got to get that. Okay. So, never not at the end of the red and black wires. Uh -huh. I got a mission for you. I'm going to take this and collect all the spare. The good block. <laughs> 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 yeah. You feel pretty good. Yeah.
and, and like at the tip, slightly colder than let's say eight in inch in. Okay. So I, I, I like to rest it on there to get the whole thing hot and then put the solder on. And actually get a little solder on the tip and I put it against it to heat it up and then feed it more. So the correct way to do it is to heat it from underneath and get the solder out from above and just make all that melt through. But it needs to get hot. Okay, so maybe I'm not waiting long enough for it to get hot. Cause mm -hmm. Thank you. Tape is this high temperature tape, but it, you can do whatever. But I, I have only one of mine here. But what you do is on the back, you just glue it so stick it so it doesn't blow it away. That's Wait, all. What end is that? Hmm? That's, uh, that's on the back. That's the, down here. That's the oh, two I didn't wires. Have some of that 3M. Oh, yeah, but Marshall has one bulb. Okay. Yeah, I got one bulb. That works mm -hmm. too, right? Yeah. Yep. It will, it will. It's, it's insulated. And then I'm going to need, um, I'll just break that and redo it. Um, I need bigger heat shrink on that. Um, one more step. This is called split wire loom. After that, put the wires through split wire loom, about 18 inches of it. This works too small. Too small. And the next larger. So grab yourself 18 inches of this. Eighteen inches. We just feed all the wires through, so and then both this. That's gonna be on this end. I gotta now take my lever nut off, off this, but I'm gonna feed 
Yeah. You can also feed it through the side, but I can feed it through the this way. You can feed it through the slit. I'm just going to feed it. Tin them. So for the lever nut part, we're going to tin them. Uh, this is going to get. This thing can come out on this side. We cut like four pieces over here, so I don't know. Oh, yeah. The tin, the leather goes on. Good soldering iron is back there. So do that. Like this, and then solder it here on this side. Yeah, the tape on the back is that. It's your Kaplan tape. You got a bunch of rolls of that. Do a longer piece of it. You can also use uh, electrical tape, but electrical tape might come off. Do that. There's a lot of people. Yeah, sure. If you wanted to go there, you probably arrive. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing I might want to do it in Colombia, Medellin. This is this is by for that. Yeah. Every day. Every day. Yeah. Sounds like you uh, you gotta figure your way back into Colombia. Then. Yeah, yeah. How long you out for? You got so the first time I got deported, I overstayed 50 days. Oh, okay. Uh, after 140 days, you can't stay on the navy. You just gotta ask for it after yeah. 40 days. Uh, they told me, they told me like, you can come back in, in 18 months, and about, 18 about, months. about three years have passed. Now I'm getting here again, so there's no more bars, and then they come to the home area. And then they do pass away from home, and then they have to take a passport, and they go to the LA, and they ask me to sign this paper on the blue side, that we can't go back to the window. And uh, they just yeah. max out the blue band on me, effective January 21, 21. I never tried to enter at that time. But I have, okay, I have an immigration lawyer and yeah. a friend, but she was in the ayahuasca ceremony at the time. I was passing through fast control. <laughs> they were like, I could have fixed this, but uh, yeah, I wasn't around. <laughs> there you go. Where's the two? Uh, which one? Uh, oh, no. Good enough, I can't tell them. Like. Yeah, but as soon as the fries is shiny like this, that's good. It's pretty. Is this on? Yeah. yeah. How much? 18 inches? 18 of the inches, yeah. Stay there, though. Shouldn't be too bad. But what you want to do is just heat the whole thing up. Here you go. It's enough melting, 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 letting it go. Got that shiny edge or shiny finish on it. That's what you want all over. You need a little solder. Let it a bit, and then that heat starts to transfer everywhere. There you go. Wet the, wet the. Your tip and then it'll I know this is all easy, yeah. yeah. What you mean is really like wet the solar. A little bit of solar on, on it helps okay. put off the heat uh yeah. okay. 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 And then we need to do your tips too. Okay, and then add one whole piece of it. Yeah. So correct order. Put a little bit of solar. Right. This is pretty dirty, so I'm melting this 
I didn't need it. Mm -hmm. You know, that's on the one zip pipe. That's so much easier. The zip pipe line is to take your block off and go okay. through it. Yeah. So uh, after everything is done, take a zip tie and tie it all up so it's tight at at the heat bed so the wires are together. Like that. Thank you. And then the heat shrink. Uh, you hold down towards the surface? Uh, wire loom goes all the way to the end. This bed moves back and forth. The wire loom prevents all the wires from wearing out or anything like that. So at the end, this is the product. Something like this with this zip tie clip. This is the product. Um, maybe use two feet of that wire there. Mine, mine's a little, little short. This should work. You want that side protected? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's that's the bed.
Does anyone need soldering? Anyone soldering? Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, yeah. Is that enough? Yeah. Four. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Uh, the electrically, electrically, yes, and then the two valves for the in and out. And uh, the, the, yeah, I got to plug in the vinegar. I'll, I'll get it in right now. All right. So we're going to get rid of the shower. Yeah. Switch it over for me. So what I'll do is I'll turn off the maintenance valve. All right. And then turn on the regular valve. Yeah. Oh, yes. Then I'll go for five minutes. And then turn it over. Yeah. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Product is lever nut, lever nut that thing. Lever nut, come in up. So who's got this this looking thing? Who's got one of those? Yep. I think that means everybody. Everybody has one of those. You just need things. a. One of the is one of these like one of that looks like this. So everyone got the split wire loom? Yep. Finishing up here. Uh, this has to be on the same side as the as this wire. So we gotta pull that out. Which is the stuff. 
that out and pull that in? Um, I think it was down to the thing that came out there. I just was kidding. This has to be the same size as this, you're saying? Yeah, so then we have a little zip tie. There's your little zip tie. Little zip tie. Okay, I'll come back. We'll put the, the wire in there. And your lever nut back on it. Yes, zip tie the wire in it should be hard to uh, engage with online from a distance. Yeah. It could be impossible. Hey guys. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't pay for that. So, uh, can somebody describe what's wrong with this one? It's wrong side. Wrong side. Same side for the sensor and the power. Otherwise, you get wires going all the place. So, we pull that out. And you can actually, oh, it's going to be Oh, yeah. It goes right here. Yeah, 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 yeah
I don't only have this one script. Okay. Yeah, that's what I would use. Okay. That's perfect. Seeing that most people have it, and if we don't, we'll So Let's move on to that much, much more of the build. So let's take a look at some of the printed parts. So let's get the printed parts. What do we want to do first? We want to do a bed. So if you look at this printer here, the bed is pretty much on a, on a, on a edge. Did you run this one or it works? Okay. We can follow this model. Basically, we're going to take so now we get into the universal access concept. Sure. We've got a motor piece, a carriage holder piece, and then an end piece. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You have 15 inch rods connecting them. Uh, there's a motor that goes on one, and there's an idler, two little idler bearings that go on to the other. We have to do those first. So attach the motor, then we do the idler piece, and then we do the carriage. So let's start with the motor piece. You got your motors. Let's grab one of these things, the things that has legs, and we need to attach the motor by screwing in. There. So, yeah, there's, uh, there's parts here, I suppose there's parts here. See a satchel of parts. So, uh, let's work out this one axis. So, the axis 
So you don't have to model any snow, but the North East, the Ivy East, and the Bed East. The Bed East has those two big webs sticking out. So grab three pieces, three of those pieces. Uh, so that's one of the two. And that's the third one. So this is one set. Do so we have the eight six sets here? Yeah. 
Why are the bunch of the bees Oh yeah, I don't know. I just put, I just put it in. Does it matter which way they go in? Oh, it's up. Water dog! You got some meat. Yeah, don't drill it's them out. Kind. Yeah. They're not, they're not going to fit if you drill them out. They're just going to fall out. But I don't think I did this big hole there. Nah, uh, yeah, that's on a slider one. Okay, where did this uh, um, Yeah, so... Wait, oh. No. Let's go, congratulations. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, so there's one here. And then I okay, think there's... Okay, so who, who else needs one? I think it's me. Yeah. What is this? Is that? I don't know how this is. Yeah, let's get it out of here. Okay, I have. Okay, I got mine. Everybody got there? Okay. So everyone had three pieces. Today's speed. Does everyone have three pieces? Yes. Okay. So, cleaning things out. What goes where? Clean these out so that rods fit in. So let's actually um, get you the 15 inch rods. The rods have to go in there. So if it's not clear, take your drill, just ream it out, start reaming it out. That's actually an eight millimeter bit or five sixteenths. Can I hand me another one? Or is that yours? Is that yours? Is yours? Yeah. One here. There it is. Okay. I'll throw this in and we can all use it. Awesome. Yeah, I didn't even think to put it in there. I'm trying to that. just lightly do it. Oh, yeah, so you work out. Okay. So you can fit them in and see if they fit. Thank you. Um, hold on guys, the, the rod